magnificent and imposing castle was built by King Henry II in the 12th century to control the troublesome barons of East Anglia and also to be a symbol of royal authority in the important port of Orford. I can tell you something else about these stairs. Can you see that they curve round to the right as you look up? Well, I am no fighting man, Signora, but I have been told that with the stairs twisting in that direction, it was easier to use your sword if you were a defender coming down the stairs rather than an attacker trying to force his way up. There's less space for an invader to swing his sword arm, you see. We had glass windows. I know, they were terribly expensive. But after all, nothing is too good for God. And it goes without saying that the chapel was the only room in the whole castle to have glass windows. This chapel was the most beautifully decorated room in the whole castle. It was well lit, its double aspect ensuring the sun always shone in. The walls had wonderful arcading semicircular arches supported by columns. At the tops of the columns are well-carved capitals. There is very little in the way of stone carving elsewhere in the castle, and most of the capitals and columns are here in the chapel. The best quality plates and goblets, the tapestries and the walls, the candle stands and so on. Oh, 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 we had to be ready in time. And after all that fuss, the wall decked out in all its finery, we sat down to a feast. Colour was everywhere. The walls covered with the tapestries or painted with friezes, perhaps depicting hunting scenes. The food was elaborately decorated to set our mouths watering. And the noise too. Everyone talking and laughing and shouting, with a hound or two barking for good measure. Minstrels ready to play as each course of food was brought in, and for more entertainment, brightly dressed jugglers would amuse us. And lastly, of course, <laughs> a fool. <laughs> How he made us roar with laughter. Let's look at this hall now. All around the wall, you can see a series of 13 strong corbels jutting out, just above head height. They were used to support rafters, which in turn held up a great conical roof which would have soared above us. Vibrantly decorated and ornamented, this roof gave the hall a very grand and imposing appearance as befitted the importance of its occupants. 